Evening all, welcome to Kicking Dust, and today we're going to show you a, well, a fun round. I think this is the, the irony of this game, while it drives me insane. And if you caught Kicking Dust 35, 335, um, you probably will have seen a little bit of rage. Um, this game is the epitome of a good game done badly, and um, I, you know, we could spend ages talking about this, but I think... What we're going to do today is we're going to talk about, I think, certainly where perhaps CCP are going with their range of games. I think we're also going to address some of the the elephants in the room who, um, or rather what seem to be, uh, I think, coming through. So let's start with that. The first one, right, is have you seen CCP Rouge? Have you heard from him? Has he gone missing? Do we need to send out a search party for Monsieur Rouge? Um, I say this because I just, you know, I've not heard anything. I think one of the uh, the, the revelations and outputs from FanFest was the desire to actually talk to their community a bit more. Um, because obviously the whole debacle of FanFest didn't go down well and just, you know, it pretty much killed a community. Um, it split it. Some people have stuck with this game, some people haven't. And, you know, it's, it's your kind of call to do that. But let, let me kind of balance this with a bit of prose. One of the things I'm finding quite interesting now is um, some games are just looking incredible now. And I'll give you an example. I've been playing uh, Battlef uh, Battlefield, I've been playing Alien Isolation. And I've got to admit, that is a step change in quality of graphics. I don't know what engine they used, I don't know how they did it, I don't know who designed it, I don't know, I don't know anything about the game. Literally, I purposefully walked into that game not knowing anything because again i think there's an interesting kind of um scenario going on and i think dust was one of the kind of primary benefactors of this which is hype ruins games and let me just explain this when you look at the, uh, dust no one knew anything about dust and when it came out it was a closed beta and i just you know, got an account i downloaded the client started playing it and i quite liked it it was fun it was it was kind of like the old doom-esque I guess shooters, you could run around, you could shotgun, you know, it felt very much like the, like I say, Doom. Um, and I think that was obviously quite an interesting one. And over the years that we played it, I think it's just been a game that, let's face it, Dust is not hyped. It's not hyped at all. But what they do, do have in this game is a very satisfying collection of mechanics. Okay, a lot of other stuff, so the limitations and the problems and the prison-like feeling, they're all problems. But if you, just, if you just isolate the mechanics that are good, this game has something to offer. Okay, so that's my closing statement. Yes, there's still lots of problems. Um, but then look, let's look at a game like Destiny, where, quite frankly, it was hyped very much. It was sincerely hyped. I mean, basically, you couldn't... I mean, it was just ridiculously overhyped. Um, however, I would say it probably became quite a fun game. It was interesting, but again, because of the expectation was so high, I think that's why the game fell short. If you had not heard anything and Destiny came out, you'd have probably quite liked it. Because it had been like, oh, this is fun, this is interesting, yeah, let's see where this is going. Um, and I think that the, the gaming companies now basically have two decisions when it comes to a game. They either hype it or they don't, okay? And what you should take from this as a consumer is that if a game is overhyped, warning! Because the reality is, is that if it's hyped, it's probably not as good as you think it's going to be. And I'll give you an example of Alien Isolation. I think it's brilliant. Okay, I'm sure some people will shit talk about it and say it's crap because of whatever reason, but it's exactly what I expected it to be, and, and it's uh, an incredibly good game. So this is kind of like a really good um, narrative, I think, to kind of say that the game wasn't hyped. I actually didn't see anything about it. I deliberately kept away from hype that whenever they kind of talked about videos and stuff, but they didn't really release anything. It was very... I guess under wraps and I think that's why the game's really good and dust is the same it doesn't kind of promote itself it is the kind of you know it's that kind of you know lady down the pub who doesn't look the best doesn't wear makeup but you know you know you kind of catch a fleeting glimpse as they walk past the window and the sun shines through you see something rather appealing underneath through the silhouette and I think that has got to be partly what I like about dust is it looks a bit kind of ropey, but when you actually start to scratch at it, yeah, there's something good there. And it's annoyingly good because, anyway, we've talked about that. 
And I think this is where I would say certainly, you know, nowadays I think you have to really be very careful when it comes to computer game purchases. The marketing people are taking over. Like any other industry, like films and music and anything like that, is the hype is becoming the, the key part of what's being sold here. So you need to be very careful of that because what's going to happen very soon is that, well, and it's happening now with Destiny, is the hype is going to be... I think really what sells the game more than the solid reviews, the solid retrospectives, the look at the game properly, you know, and the first week or two of sales. That's when a game does well. And I think what happens, uh, you know, too often now is games are rushed. They're made not very interestingly. They usually just have a couple of interesting mechanics just there to kind of capture certain markets. And I think the reality is, is games actually are pretty dull. But when you get a game which has a little bit of cleverness like Alien Isolation, it has also negatives because it has quick time events, which I think are bollocks. I don't like quick time events. I think they're just pointless. Um, however, I can see the merit of them in certain cases, and I think in this case they're not being done too badly. They are relatively, relatively good. Um, but I would say probably the biggest thing to bear in mind is that the, you know, the certainly nowadays with the kind of gaming press and the way that it works, as we've said before, it, it's very, you have to take it all with a pinch of salt. It's nine times out of ten, most reviewers are being paid to give a review. So PC Gamer, which is a great magazine in my, my mind, are very biased in what they do because I don't think really they, they review a game fully and comprehensively so I have an issue with that but again we'll see to be honest I think there's something really cool about sort of you know some of the games coming I still love dust again I, I don't want people to think that I'm kind of very negative about the game I am don't get me wrong but I, I would love to see Legion happen I would love to see this game develop and I'd love to see more IP come through for this amazing game and I think my frustration is that the the almost kind of ham-fisted nature that this game has been developed. When you look at the way it's being developed currently is now, it, it really is evident that they might as well just not bother with a development team. It's probably only a couple of guys doing it anyway. What they've done is they've roped in the CPM to basically be their, their unofficial resources as well. I kind of don't like that. I think the reality is, is that this game needs a shot in the arm and it needs more content and it needs work. CCP only have two products in the marketplace, even this. So why would you not develop your second product? You know, Eve, let's face it, is not going to be a primary fresh smelling product for too much longer because already, in my opinion, Elite and Star Citizen are making it look terrible. Terrible. When you look at the quality, scale, scope, and, and perspective of Elite, just Elite, for example, you compare that to EVE. I mean, EVE is like remote control spaceships, whereas Elite is, my God, I am that guy. And I think you can pretty much guarantee that for a fraction of probably what it's cost to run and develop EVE over these years, Elite is already, I think, at that point where it's just taking subscribers numbers whatever it is away from eve because and i know people get a bit angry when i try and compare the two games but you have to remember you know your time is is only finite so you have to decide what you spend your time on and for me you know i'm happy to play eve i'm happy to play elite and, and all these other games but you play what you have the most enjoyment with and when there's nothing new and innovative coming from games like a like eve it's very difficult to kind of warrant playing those games I think and that's kind of my that's kind of my my kind of opinion of this is that you your time is precious to you and you should consider your downtime critically important to you and I think when you th when I think of my own kind of experience wasting 10 years of my life playing Eve I do see it as a waste and that's quite telling and that again this is just my opinion and my perspective but the simple fact is is I spent 10 years playing a game that I got no real benefit from I kind of had fun, but again, I would say that there wasn't a great deal of fun. And that's again, my, my bad judgment, my bad mistake. And I think now when I look at all of the games that passed me in that 10 years, because I did play a lot of other games, but not, you know, not really that much. And one of the beauties and joys of doing a channel like this is that you do get to actually play um, some games, games that you probably never would have thought of playing before. Um, Space Engineers is probably one of those. Minecraft, I never would have thought to play that, you know, but the, the reality is, is that you enjoy what you play and you play what you enjoy. And I think really that's kind of where the channel's coming from. It's tricky because sometimes I do get really fed up with the way that CCP seem to treat 
um, their their players and their their kind of people. I mean, I just think at the moment it really feels like they've let the office junior run dust. You know, I don't mean disrespect to Ritati and Co. I'm sure he's a very senior guy, but the reality is, is he doesn't come across as a senior guy. And all he seems to be doing is endlessly kind of twiddling knobs and and just trying to balance the game. And the reality is, is that the balancing is only of interest to a very small number of people. What would be of more interest is content. Now, I know we've been down this road before, but that is the reality of this game. If they are going, you know, they have to basically accept that they can't just not invest in dust while it's still a product. You know what I mean? I know they're saying that Legion's coming. I know they say that Valkyrie's coming. This is fine, but until they've got other products to add to their marketplace, this is a one stroke two and a, you know, one and a half trick pony. And I think CCP really need to f you know, figure out this because otherwise it'll just be too late. And all of a sudden they'll be like, yeah, they'll be me seen as massively overpriced when they come to be purchased by whoever's buying them. And they'll just say, well, you've only got two products, so therefore you're not worth anything to us. And I think even if they drop dust off and it just goes back to Eve, that'll be the biggest mistake they ever made. Anyway, there we go. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.